So this is a very short video to show you how to estimate the catchment area for one of your proposed dam sites. When you have decided on one of the options for your potential dam, you'll then need to do a calculation to figure out whether the catchment upstream of that site would be capable of generating enough water to serve the demand that you've calculated. Usually, at this point, we provide you with A0 pieces of paper with the catchment map printed out on it. And then you have to draw what you think is the catchment boundary to the point where your dam site is located. And then estimate by counting the squares on the map what the area of the catchment would be. Now, unfortunately, I can't do that this year because um, clearly giving you all an A0 map is, is not uh, feasible. So I've created a PowerPoint file in which I've put the map of the Irfon Valley. And I've written a macro to help you to calculate the area of a shape that you will have to draw on this map. So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how you would do that. So to begin with, what you need to do is to go onto Blackboard and download the catchment area calculation PowerPoint file. When you do that, you need to note that this file has a macro embedded in it. And when you open the file, you'll need to make sure that you enable macros to be able to use it. So here we have our, our map and you are going to be working somewhere between this point down here near Landworthed Wells, but a bit upstream, somewhere along uh, the river up to Aberguessen. So you're going to pick some potential dam sites in here and then have to work out what the catchment area is that feeds that site. So now I'm going to demonstrate um, how this macro works. And to do this, I'm going to pick a site upstream of Aberguessen. So this is outside the area that you would have to be dealing with. And I'm going to draw what I think is the catchment area. So the macro works by calculating the area of a free form shape. So you need to select free form from here. And then I'm going to try and approximate what my catchment area is from here. Now, when you're drawing the catchment area, this is, the idea of this is to enclose the area where all water that falls within that drains towards the river at this point. And the way we do that is we draw perpendicular to the contour lines as close to as we can. So I'm going to draw uh, a polygon around here, up here, and out here. And this black line here is the catchment area for the flow gauge at Silmary. So you've been provided with the Silmary flow data. So once you reach the black line, you simply have to trace the black line around here. And then at some point in here, we will come down here again, round here, round here, round here, and then back to the point at which we started. So let me show you how to do that quite quickly. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to go roughly in there, in there, through here and up here, uh, around there, around there. Now the key thing here is to um, trace as closely as possible uh, this, uh, the outline, but as you can see, it doesn't have to be too detailed. Um, because we, we really want an approximate area. So as long as I trace this line uh, roughly correctly, uh, it should be absolutely fine. So you don't need to make too many mouse clicks uh, through here. And once you get close to where you started, you need to click on that endpoint, and then PowerPoint will fill in 
that area. Once we've achieved this, we then need to go to Tools. So here's Tools on my toolbar and Macro. And so I want to run a macro there. And the macro is called Get Shape Area. And so I click Run. And I'm going to say No. And the key answer here is that the area of that shape is 63.13 square centimetres. So I'll just quickly delete that and I'm going to delete that as well and then I'll just uh, move that up. So our shape area is 63.13 square centimetres. Now the macro only works if it's looking at a freeform shape. So it's important that you draw that as a freeform shape. When you highlight it, click the macro, the macro realises that you want the area of that shape and then it does the calculation. So this is good. So we now know what the area of this shape is. However, you then need to repeat this because the background of the map has also told us where the grid lines are for the map. And as you can see from the scale here, these squares represent one square kilometre. So I need to draw a freeform shape that roughly covers one of these squares. Because whilst helpfully it's told me the area of the shape, clearly the area of this catchment is not 65.13 square centimetres. The map has a scale and so we need a reference point. So having done this, I then go back up and I use my macro once again. And I've got my uh, grid square select selected now and I click get shape area and run. And this time I'm going to say no and I'm going to highlight this. And so I'm going to say grid square area and then I can remove the uh, unnecessary parts of this to here. So for our potential dam site that's going to go here we now have an estimate of this shape area at the scale of the PowerPoint slide, which is 65.13 square centimetres. And by creating this square, we also know that um, each 2.61 square centimetres of area on the map is representative of one square kilometre. So by dividing this number by this number, you can find the area of the contributing catchment uh, to the river at that point in square kilometres.